because of cars like these and because of fans of German engineered speed, performance, pedigree and power, this little M badge has almost religious importance to it. People get serious about this little letter M and the exclusive performance cars that BMW reserves it for. This M235i is one of the latest cars to wear the little M and no shortage of commenters, reviewers and enthusiasts argue about whether it should. Some say this is not a real M car, it doesn't deserve the badge, or it's not what an M car used to be. Some say that BMW has made a mistake putting the M on a car like this which is straight from its roots with a turbo engine, luxury features and safety sensors. My take? It's just a freaking sticker. If you don't like it, take a piece of fishing line and a heat gun and remove it. Now let's get to the important stuff and get to know this feisty little rocket. Here's the setup for this tester, two doors, four seats, six cylinders, eight paddle shifted gears, all wheel drive, one turbocharger, and performance that's 1000% guaranteed to put a grin on your kisser. Six in a row makes it go, this three liter straight six with turbocharger is good for 322 horsepower and even more torque. It revs hard and fast, has great low end thrust, blending with a high revving surge, and all that torque sees every prod of the throttle met with a solid leap ahead. There is a single dual scroll turbo which turns in the hard hitting instant response of a twin turbo setup but without having two of them and then all the M235i is small, lean, powered right up and goes like bananas when you hit the rightmost pedal. Stomp the other pedal and these big blue brakes bite into action, stopping power is fierce and durable and under heavy to full braking the pedal feels the most precise and easy to modulate and you'd likely go through the seat belt if it were any thinner. Like the engine, the brakes here feel fantastic when worked really hard. It is missing that third pedal, the clutch, that many folks like, though this automatic transmission is so good the manual will really just slow you down. I don't like automatics in a car like this one, but man, this 8-speed shifts with millisecond precision, giggle-worthy rev matching and fantastic sound effects. BMW just nails it with fast shifting automatics and this one is no exception. I'm a car guy and I'd have to get this stick, but it would be bittersweet as there's no way a human driver can change gears as fast as this. Steering is power assisted and super complicated, it lightens up when you're parking so you can maneuver with one finger, engage sport or sport plus mode from the selector and it gets thick and heavy and solid with a great feeling of biting into the road and locking on rather than floating over top. The ratio and effort at the wheel feel bang on and though this high tech electric steering lacks the feedback and feel of the road beneath that steering snobs love, the average enthusiast driver is going to get a kick out of the go-kart experience and the smoothness and refinement all around. Turns out that is a recurring theme. There are two sort of underlying character traits that you'll feel here every time that you take the wheel. The first is that this is one of those sports cars that always lets you know that you're driving a sports car. Now many times I talk about sports cars that don't feel like sports cars until you get to driving them hard. That's not the case here. Now it isn't uncomfortable but there's always that hint of hotness and stiffness and a touch of a hum from that gorgeous factory sports exhaust upgrade to remind you that you're driving something a little bit hot and bothered. And second, well there's a remarkable smoothness to the whole thing. As quickly as this machine reacts to your inputs and responds absolutely instantaneously, the way a world class sports car should, there is a layer of smoothness around everything. The brakes, the steering, the engine, the gear shifts, even the handling and ride, you feel it's all dialed in and calibrated. There's just a beautiful polish to all of it. And for you, the driver, well, that means that you'll feel the refinement promised by the BMW badge and the response and thrills promised by the M badge, unless you remove it because you fancy yourself a bit of a connoisseur and find its presence offensive. Yeah, right. I didn't spin the tires right there because there's all-wheel drive optionally available for year-round access to the performance and to fend off Audi and Mercedes who both offer it as standard in their comparable little luxury rockets. Inside it's simple but luxurious with stitching, nice trim materials, a beautiful steering wheel and a slick infotainment system that can provide weather forecasts in the central screen or even read you the news from your favorite website. Air travel, like religion, can come with a lot of rules and the seating is often less than luxurious. Yes, that's what you want to hear. Rear seats are bigger than you think by looking at the M235i and once on board, two average size adults can sit in back with relative comfort. There's also room for a weekend worth of camping gear in the trunk if you need. 
Headlights are noteworthy. The tester got dynamic xenon projectors to steer clean, white, and saturating illumination up the road and into the bends, which helps in reducing eye strain on long after dark drives. Mileage is noteworthy too. It'll get thirsty if you push it, but fantastic highway mileage saw my test average land at 9.8 liters per 100 clicks. That's highly digestible given the capability. Complaints? Well, for its size and purpose, the M235i pretty much nails it. The ride can get a little harsh on broken pavement, and though I appreciate the sort of sleeper look going on here, I'm not sure why these mirrors are painted silver, or why they couldn't have put on some more special looking wheels, because these ones look like they came from a Civic Si. My biggest issue with this machine is actually how the engine sounds, which is absolutely fantastic. The thing is, some portion of what you hear inside at full throttle is fake noise piped in over the speakers to help enhance the sound, which is blasphemy. It sounds great, but it's fake and it's cheating and I hate that I like it. Here's the difference. The sound from outside... ...and the sound from inside. So let's sum up this blasphemous little red rocket bimmer, shall we? You'll like the power, the incredibly smooth performance, the fantastic lights, decent trunk and rear seat space, and the overall character and feel to the thing. Refinement and polish to the overall package are top notch, and fuel mileage is pretty darn good too. Complaints? I don't think the M235i looks quite special enough. There's a bit of a learning curve to the central command system. The rear seats are best left to those of average size or less. And come on, really? Fake engine noise? It sounds great and I just hate it. So when all BMW's new entry-level M car is taut, frisky, makes a good noise, accelerates like a startled cat, feels creamy smooth at all of the controls, will put a grin on your mug when you're motoring hard, and won't empty your wallet when you aren't. Pricing from under 50,000 with the nicely loaded all-wheel drive tester coming in a little under 60. Give this one a try if you're in the market. Thanks for watching.